I'm Mark Gamble and I'm an Intervention Offshore Installation Manager. So my responsibility is to manage a team of highly skilled technicians. Uh, they're placed onto the platform to carry out planned preventative maintenance and to maintain safety critical elements of the gas platforms. We check in at Blackpool Airport and we watch a safety video. It's mandatory. We get changed into our survival suits. We have to wear a survival suit in case a helicopter ditches in the sea. Our team has to be very flexible and versatile. They're multi-skilled technicians. They have to be able to turn their hand to pretty much anything that we're going to encounter out there. Everybody looks out for each other. We need to know that working in dangerous conditions that someone's got your back. You have to be a tough individual, but you've got to be intelligent as well. We're carrying out highly complex tasks. So my daily duties on the normally unmanned installations is to carry out planned preventative maintenance and maintenance on safety critical systems. My number one priority is safety for my team, my personnel, and also safety of the asset. Work could be very tough as well, it's in arduous conditions. The worst weather we've experienced is 100 mile an hour winds. The wind's blowing you off your feet, that's quite tough. It's making sure that we stay sharp, we stay motivated, and we stay concentrated on safety. During my time with Central Grove, I've learnt management skills, people skills, engineering skills, uh, the list is endless. I love the fact that every single day is different, we just never know what's going to happen. This is, this is the perfect job for me. My name is Inga Sofia Christiansen. I work in Centric in Norway as a risk management advisor. Day to day I evaluate risk in all parts of the Norwegian business. Emergency response is a requirement in Norway. We carry out drills to prepare ourselves for potential emergencies. These can be, for example, fire in an offshore installation or a big oil spill. So we've trained in a major exercise last year. There were more than a thousand participants, police, hospital, people acting as journalists, evacuees, and next to kin. The benefit of an exercise like this is that you get hands-on feeling of uh, as real as a situation can get, and it's the best learning you can get ever. Centrica's mantra is safety, safety, safety. I'm very much a safety person both inside and outside the work. It's about caring for everybody all the time. For example, I led a recent campaign in the office neighborhood to make pedestrians and cyclists that travel in a main road that leads down to this office aware of the hazards in dark winter mornings. If it prevented one injury, I'm very happy. In Centrica we care about the people, so everything we do is to avoid situations that hurt anyone in the company. My name is Phil McCaffrey, I'm a reservoir engineer with Centrica. I'm in charge of working out how much oil we can get out of the ground. I love my job. It feels like you're a detective, piecing together information to try and understand the different uncertainties and the different risks associated with developing the oil fields. Currently working on the Butch development project. A lot of other companies had drilled wells in that area and they'd all come up dry. Whereas Centrica kept looking for oil, I managed to find oil where other people had given up. As a team, we need to be very, very creative in terms of being able to understand the subsurface and think what the land would have looked like in the late Jurassic when Butch was actually deposited. Understand what the landscape would have looked like and where the rivers were flowing past. With the Butch project, the team were really up against the timeline. We had to deliver by January 2015. We only finished drilling the appraisal wells in July 2014. So we basically had to do a 12 month project in less than six months. The key thing is being able to collaborate and work together. It's not really a matter who's right or wrong, but it's about capturing the range of uncertainty and understanding the risk. As a 
fantastic feeling to be able to achieve what we promised. I think a lot of people thought we wouldn't be able to deliver in such a short time frame, but we managed to all pitch in and deliver a project we were proud of. I think I thrive on a challenge, which is why I love working for Centrica.